What's up guys? I'm here again. I'm gonna give you guys the Android head unit touchdown pretty much. What are the five top apps you should get when you get an Android head unit? This is off of a Subaru, so it uh, doesn't matter though, whatever Android head units, it's gonna be perfect for your car. This is my top five. All right, just jumping straight in. Uh, as you can see here, guys, this is called the car launcher. It's how you're gonna see as your home interface. So when you hit that home button, what do you see? The car launcher has a very nice aesthetic to it. I love it. It looks so up class, very BMW-like. Gives the interior a nice feel, and you can customize it the way you want it. Um, let's say you don't like this clutter bar up here. I personally like some functions, so I kept it there, but um, you can easily remove it within the settings. So there's a bunch of things you can tweak, whether you want to change how the color looks like, red, blue, um, whatever interface you kind of like. There is that one, this and that. Uh, very tablet. I look, this looks kind of like futuristic Lexus and I just went for the clean a little bit, little bit more mundane, but it just looks very good. You can't go wrong with that. Get this interface, guys. It's uh, It does cost money, but it's well worth it, and it makes your interior look beautiful. Jump into probably my all-time favorite app, especially since this is a car head unit. You want something that has some really nice audio. Spotify provides you with really great uh, selection of music. You can pick anything you want, skip radio choices, discover new music, genres that you probably never heard of. It's just a really nice app. I used to use Pandora a lot because I used to, that's what I grew up with, but Spotify is the next level. So um, you just click on your music and it plays the song. Uh, you can, uh, let's see what else you can do. You can vote it up, you can put it on your playlist, you can hit next. It will hit next on this bad boy or even hit rewind, which is a really convenient feature. So you can't go wrong with Spotify. It, if you're a premium account, you're gonna love it more because you have those features. If not, it's still gonna act like Pandora, but trust me guys, you want the premium version of Spotify. It's beautiful. With all this new technology, it could get very distracting. Using Google Now will act like your personal assistance to make things less complicated and easier to use hands-free while you're driving. So let's go just get started. Where's the closest Best Buy? Here are the listings for Best Buy within 10 miles. Awesome. And then you can say something like this. Okay, Google. What's the score of the Sacramento Kings? Sacramento Kings beat Memphis Grizzlies 96 to 92. Awesome. And let's... Okay, Google. What's the weather going to be like? Here's the forecast for Antelope. Okay, hype. You know, maybe, oh, maybe I should wash my car. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's clear. Tuesday, Thursday, there's some rain, but I got I to gotta clean the whip. All right, this is a music player after all. This next app is called Viper for Android. And what it does is it makes your cheap speakers or even good speakers sound even better. There's so much functionality, there's so much post-processing, it's so many things you can do to really push your speakers forward. It does require some root access, but it's definitely worth it if you want to sound, having your stock stereo system to sound, uh, you know, at least decent. Uh, with these effects right here, there's just so much to do. You'll be able to tailor to your sound systems, make it sound more surround-like, give it more umphy bass. The EQ in the system from, from factory, it doesn't give you enough options. This might overcomplicate things, but you can keep things to a minimal and make things sound good without going overboard. But it is there if you want to go overboard. If you want to tune your device, you probably have to hire somebody to just make it sound phenomenal, which you probably can even on your stock sound system. So Viper for uh, Android, it's an A plus. It really makes your speakers sound amazing. Highly recommend. All right. So navigation is very important. What are you gonna choose? Android head units come with generally iGo, which is a very 
basic but gets the job done kind of thing uh, navigation and you can just it just works and it works well it's like a 2015 2014 interface for the Subaru so it looks identical to that with the higher resolution it looks good but Google Maps Everyone loves it. It's very user friendly and the times are so accurate. Your, your ETAs is you generally spot on with Google Maps. And you're, what, the only con to this is there is a, um, you're gonna use online for the most part, but there is a feature called offline mode. Let me show you guys that. So, uh, let me show you. So, offline areas. What you can do with this is download a custom area so wherever you live, you can download a custom area and you'll, it'll just use your GPS signal to uh, send the signal and you don't have to use any data, which comes in handy. So let's say you commute, you live in Los Angeles and this is pretty much all you really need. Get that in focus for you, so, or, or Bakersfield, you know. That's a huge chunk uh, for your daily commute, that two hours, three hours, anyway, you should be perfectly fine. And you can do stuff like uh, use that Google Now kind of thing that I showed you guys earlier. Um, to uh, McDonald's. To find your food that you probably want, you're hungry, right? Hopefully this list is pretty, um, this list is going to help you guys out. Uh, that, I think that's going to wrap it things up for me right over here. Uh, there are more advanced apps, but to get started, I feel like these apps right here will get you a long way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.